my YouTube friends. Mobile streaming to YouTube is going to be hot in 2025. With the future addition of features like dual format streaming and AI highlights, it's a great time to jump in. And it only makes sense that more people are using their phones to stream. Phone cameras and microphones are getting more and more capable and they can let you stream from anywhere. And there's really only one barrier, and that's that you need 50 subscribers on YouTube to stream with a cell phone. Today, I'm gonna go over how to stream to YouTube with your cell phone and give you a bunch of options and strategies to get around that pesky 50 sub barrier. We got a lot to get to, so you know what? Let's get to it! Let's start with the elephant in the room first. You can't stream with a cell phone to YouTube unless you have 50 subscribers. And that is 100% true if you're using YouTube's mobile app to stream. However, there are a bunch of alternative mobile streaming options that allow you to bypass that roadblock and even offer some extra features in the process. Prism Mobile and Streamlabs Mobile are two apps that you can download and stream right from your phone totally free. Both have tons of extra features like chat integration, text and overlay features, and a lot more. Restream.io and StreamYard both function from your browser on a cell phone, and they offer lots of additional features, including the ability to add remote guests. Now, the browser-based options are a bit more difficult to use because they're functioning in a browser. However, if you're using them in the vertical format, they're perfectly viable. In the horizontal format, the browser functions just take up too much real estate for them to be used easily, but you could do it if you wanted to. Now, the third option would be starting out on alternative platforms that don't have any restrictions. Neither Twitch nor Facebook gaming have any restrictions whatsoever on using your cell phone to stream. And while TikTok says you need a thousand followers, I've already proven that that's not the case. The key with any of those platforms would be to get some streaming experience and use the stream recordings to generate pre-recorded content that you'd use on YouTube. Then when you have the 50 subs on YouTube, you can go live there. And if you're using pre-recorded shorts, that can actually happen pretty quickly. Now for Restream and StreamYard, since those go through a browser, they're essentially the same as their computer counterparts. There are plenty of videos out there on how to use those. I'll put links to my videos on them down below in the description if you want to check it out. I want to cover the simple functions for Streamlabs and Prism Mobile so you can get connected and start live streaming really quickly. Then I'm going to cover the actual YouTube app for those with 50 subscribers already. So let's go ahead and jump into Prism Mobile first. So we're going to go into Prism. And there are going to be links in the description down below so you could check this out. And then we just go to live right here. So up here in the top left, you got three dots. You can click on that. You could flip the front facing camera, use Bluetooth microphone, all that sort of stuff. Pretty simple. We've got our mic on, our camera on, and a view in full screen. So we could go into the camera pro, set up ISO, and all that kind of stuff. You get a lot of options with this. We can also use chroma key if we have a green screen. There's a, just, there's a lot of options. Uh, we can go with screen or VTuber if we have anything set up. You could use a 2D avatar or a 3D avatar. As you could see right there, I had one created a long time ago. There's a process to it. And I have a video on it if you want to check that out as well. We can go over here and change our faces. So there you go. There's all kinds of this sort of stuff in here if we want to use it. Boom. So, and then you can see down here on the bottom, there are hundreds of these sorts of things that you could put on your face. Pretty cool stuff. So that's with that down there. And then there's this one over here, which allows you to use different settings that just change the look of the camera. And you could see the three dots at the top. So if we go to the left, we could remove the overlay. If we go to the right, you can add different things. So we can uh, keep the current selection. 
We can add alerts using a browser source if we want. We can also add text on the screen. It's pretty simple. So this is the actual overlay for chat or something like that if we wanted to use that. So we can add all that sort of stuff if we want. We can come in here and unselect it. There's all kinds of other widgets in here as well. You see the Prism Chat widget, which is what that other one I just showed you was. You can go to web and you can add alerts, all that kind of stuff. We can also add a media file. So if we wanted to add a video or music or anything like that really super easy to add and then all that's really necessary is for you to click the ready button right and then it's going to ask you where you want to stream which i haven't set this up new in a while which is why it's giving me a thing i would have to go and log in again basically when you do that it's going to come up with this and you just tell it where you want to stream connect up and boom you're live it's really that easy to use prism mobile this is streamlabs mobile we're going to go up here to the hamburger menu you can access your account settings on streamlabs you can create a bunch of different scenes if you like uh, just click create new scene and it kind of asks you what you want the layout to be it's really simple to do this sort of stuff uh, we're going to go over here and select the front camera. There we go. When we click there, we can select all kinds of different cameras. We can also click up here and we can switch between different scenes and that sort of stuff. Now you can see the little glass right there and that is actually one of the widgets that you can add directly in Streamlabs and it will show up on your live streams. So if we were to get a donation, little coins would fall in there, which is really, really cool. We can just click this button to flip the camera. We can mute and unmute right here. We can actually see the chat and then it'll come on the screen right there. We can show event lists. What this means is if you get any kind of membership or subscriber or donations or anything like that, that's what you're gonna see right there, which is pretty cool. And you can see it has GIFs, has announcements and volume. You can change that up. If you're doing text to speech for any kind of messages that might come in or whatever, you could set that all up here. It has a lot of really, really cool extra features. When we go over here, you can go into your uh, alerts and you can set them up. So you can see I've got donation alerts on, I've got my subscription gifts and YouTube members. I can turn that on and off right here. So I could set up my entire event list. I could go into tipping and make sure that that's all set up through there if I haven't set it up already. So you could literally set all of this up on your phone. We can go into stream settings. We can decide what we want our video settings to be, our audio settings, our camera settings, all that sort of stuff. We can look at our event list and ask it which ones it's gonna show us on the screen. We can change up Twitch settings. We can also modify chat settings and everything right in here. And if we go into advanced settings, we can adjust the encoder, the bit rate, and everything else, depending upon what sort of connection you might actually have. We can change our modes to light and dark down here, and that's pretty much all the basics. So if you wanted to add alerts, like the one that you see here, with the cup, you would just have to go into the website and set all that up. Once you set it up, it just appears on these screens. It makes it kind of easy to set up all of the things that you don't want to have to worry about in your live stream beforehand so that when you come on here, everything just works. So now all we'd have to do is click the go live button and we're going to go live right here and both of these options get you around that 50 subscriber limit because the 50 subscriber limit assumes that you're using a cell phone using youtube's app once you use a third party app youtube doesn't really know if you're using a computer or whatever so it just assumes that you're not using a cell phone which is why all of these will work when you use them on your cell phone and of course there are links to both of these down in the description so go check them out for yourself now the last one of course is the youtube app and for this, you just go into the YouTube app, you click that little plus down at the bottom, and you've got live. You can set everything up. So if we go up to the top, it will obviously close it out. Down at the bottom, you can create videos, shorts, or go live, or create a post, right? Pretty simple. Up in the top right, you can select a scheduled live stream. So if you already set one up, you can go in here and actually select it. Right below that, you have the forward button, where you can send links for your live stream to anyone you want. This button right here will just change the cameras. You got your microphone, you've got your camera, and then right below there, you can stream horizontal or vertical and do all that stuff. We can go down here to this little pencil and we can set up our live stream, unlisted, listed, whatever you want, not made for kids, 
You can add a description and a title and the whole nine yards right down here. Then you can click next and select your audience not made for kids and then click go live and it will take you live. Or you can just go down here and click the go live button and it will take you live. So the YouTube app is really super simple and it's gonna be coming with new features that will do horizontal and vertical streaming at the same time. And once it's finished, you're gonna be able to edit up those live streams using AI to create shorts for everything. You definitely wanna be creating shorts or long form content from your live streams because it is the best way to grow your audience. It makes it easier for people to find out who you are and what you're doing and all that sort of stuff, which makes it easier for YouTube to share your content, which is truly the only real way to grow on YouTube. So you should be off and ready to live stream immediately. A couple other things that I would recommend, you're probably gonna need some sort of a portable tripod that holds a cell phone. They're super cheap. You can easily get one for less than 20 bucks. Most of them have extensions so that you can make them long or short and put together all kinds of shots. And when you don't wanna be holding it vlog style, you can just set it on the ground and it will hold your phone. It's kind of one of those things that you just need. Do you need an external microphone? Because microphones on cell phones have gotten pretty doggone good. And I would say if you're just starting out, try using the internal microphone on the cell phone and see what you think. There are plenty of options, some of them pricey, some of them pretty cheap for just clip-on microphones that Bluetooth right into your cell phone. And that would be the option that you're probably going to choose going forward. But just to start out, give it a shot with the cell phone microphone. It can't hurt. And depending upon the environment you're streaming, you might not need an external mic. You probably will but you might not. Now I think that live streaming over the next few months is gonna get much bigger because people just don't like AI content. But what do you think? Let me know down below in the comments. And if you wanna know more about how I feel about the future of live streaming in the next six to eight months, check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.